I've summed up my 10 takeaways and thoughts about this book in this video. I highly recommend you to read the original book of the author. If you're interested in investing and looking for a guide to get you started, look no further than How to Invest, Masters on the Craft by David M. Rubenstein. This book is a must-read for anyone who wants to understand how the world of investing works and how to make sound investment decisions. Rubenstein, a successful investor and philanthropist, draws on his own experience to provide readers with insights and tips on how to navigate the complex world of finance. He shares stories of his successes and failures, providing readers with real-world examples of what works and what doesn't. One of the most compelling aspects of the book is Rubenstein's focus on the importance of understanding history and how it can inform investment decisions. He argues that a deep knowledge of historical trends can help investors identify opportunities and avoid pitfalls. Rubenstein also stresses the importance of diversification and caution. He cautions against taking unnecessary risks and advocates for a long-term, conservative approach to investing. He provides practical advice on how to create a diversified portfolio and how to avoid common mistakes that can lead to losses. Throughout the book, Rubenstein shares insights from some of the greatest investors of our time. He provides readers with the wisdom and advice of legends such as Warren Buffett, Benjamin Graham, and John Templeton, among others. Overall, How to Invest, Masters on the Craft is an informative and engaging read that provides readers with valuable insights and advice on how to succeed in the world of investing. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, this book is sure to provide you with valuable insights and practical tips on how to make smart investment decisions. One of the main points of How to Invest, Masters on the Craft, is that understanding history is crucial for successful investing. This means that investors should take the time to study historical trends and patterns in the market and use this knowledge to make informed investment decisions. For example, by studying the history of market crashes and economic downturns, investors can learn how to identify warning signs and adjust their portfolios accordingly. They can also learn from past mistakes made by other investors and avoid making the same errors. Additionally, understanding the history of a particular company or industry can help investors evaluate its potential for growth and profitability. By examining the history of a company's financial performance, management team, and market competition, investors can gain valuable insights into its future prospects. Overall, understanding history is an important tool for investors who want to make sound investment decisions. By taking the time to study the past, investors can better understand the present and position themselves for success in the future. Another key point from How to Invest, Masters on the Craft, is that diversification and a long-term, conservative approach are key to minimizing risks when investing. This means that investors should not put all of their eggs in one basket, but rather spread their investments across a variety of asset classes and sectors. By diversifying their portfolio, investors can reduce the impact of any one investment performing poorly, which can help protect their overall wealth. Additionally, a long-term approach to investing can help investors ride out short-term market fluctuations and focus on the underlying fundamentals of their investments. Rubenstein also advocates for a conservative approach to investing, which means avoiding taking unnecessary risks and focusing on quality investments with strong fundamentals. This approach can help investors avoid making emotional, impulsive decisions that can lead to significant losses. Finally, Rubenstein emphasizes the importance of patience and discipline when investing. Investors should avoid trying to time the market or make quick, speculative trades. Instead, they should be willing to wait for the right opportunities to arise and hold on to quality investments for the long term. Overall, diversification, a conservative approach, and a long-term perspective are all important tools for minimizing risk and building wealth through investing. By following these principles, investors can position themselves for success over the long term. Another key point from How to Invest, Masters on the Craft, is that investors should focus on the quality of companies, 
not just their price. This means that investors should not simply chase after stocks with low prices or high potential returns, but instead focus on the underlying strength of the companies they are investing in. Rubenstein emphasizes the importance of evaluating a company's financial health, management team, competitive advantages, and long-term prospects when making investment decisions. Investors should look for companies with strong fundamentals, such as a track record of consistent revenue and earnings growth, a sound balance sheet, and a competitive advantage in their industry. Additionally, investors should look for companies with a strong management team that has a proven track record of success. A skilled and experienced management team can help ensure that the company is well positioned to weather economic downturns and capitalize on growth opportunities. Finally, Rubenstein emphasizes that investors should look beyond the short-term fluctuations in stock prices and focus on the long-term potential of the companies they are investing in. By investing in high-quality companies with strong fundamentals and a competitive advantage, investors can position themselves for long-term success. Overall, by focusing on the quality of companies rather than just their price, investors can make more informed investment decisions and build a portfolio of high-quality investments that can generate consistent returns over the long term. Another key point from How to Invest, Masters on the Craft, is that avoiding unnecessary risks is important for building wealth through investing. While some level of risk is inherent in any investment, Rubenstein emphasizes the importance of taking a conservative approach and avoiding taking unnecessary risks. One way to avoid unnecessary risks is by diversifying a portfolio across a variety of asset classes and sectors. By spreading investments across a diverse range of investments, investors can minimize the impact of any one investment performing poorly. Additionally, investors should avoid chasing after short-term market trends or investing in speculative investments that may not have a sound underlying business model or long-term potential for growth. Instead, investors should focus on investing in high-quality companies with a strong track record of consistent growth and profitability. Rubenstein also emphasizes the importance of avoiding high levels of debt when investing. Investors should avoid investing with borrowed money, as this can amplify losses in the event of a market downturn. Finally, Rubenstein stresses that investors should not let their emotions drive their investment decisions. Fear, greed, and other emotions can lead investors to make impulsive decisions that may not be in their best long-term interest. Instead, investors should focus on making rational, informed decisions based on sound financial analysis and a long-term perspective. Overall, avoiding unnecessary risks is a key principle of successful investing. By taking a conservative approach, diversifying their portfolio, and avoiding speculative investments, investors can minimize their risk exposure and build wealth over the long term. Another key point from How to Invest, Masters on the Craft, is that investors should not be afraid to learn from their past mistakes. While no investor can avoid all losses or mistakes, Rubenstein emphasizes that successful investors are able to learn from their mistakes and adjust their investment strategies accordingly. One way to learn from past mistakes is to conduct a post-mortem analysis of investments that did not perform as expected. Investors can analyze what went wrong, identify areas where they may have made mistakes, and adjust their investment strategies accordingly. Rubenstein also emphasizes the importance of being willing to admit when you are wrong and making adjustments as necessary. Successful investors are able to recognize when their investment thesis is no longer valid and are willing to sell an investment when necessary. Finally, Rubenstein stresses the importance of avoiding overconfidence when investing. Investors should be willing to admit that they do not know everything and should seek out the opinions of others with more experience or expertise when making investment decisions. Overall, by learning from past mistakes and avoiding overconfidence, investors can build a more successful investment strategy over the long term. By being willing to adjust their approach based on what has worked and what hasn't, investors can minimize their risk exposure and build wealth over time. Another key point from How to Invest, Masters on the Craft, 
is that identifying macroeconomic trends can help investors identify opportunities in the market. By analyzing broader economic trends and identifying potential growth areas, investors can position themselves to capitalize on emerging opportunities. For example, Rubenstein notes that emerging markets such as China and India have seen significant growth in recent years, and investing in companies with exposure to these markets can provide attractive investment opportunities. Similarly, identifying trends in sectors such as technology or healthcare can help investors identify companies with strong growth potential. Rubenstein also emphasizes the importance of staying up to date on political and economic developments that could impact the market. Changes in government policy, economic indicators, and other factors can have a significant impact on the market, and investors should be aware of these changes and adjust their investment strategies accordingly. Overall, by staying attuned to macroeconomic trends and understanding how they may impact the market, investors can position themselves to capitalize on emerging opportunities and minimize their risk exposure. By staying informed and adaptable, investors can build a successful investment strategy over the long term. Another key point from How to Invest, Masters on the Craft, is that successful investors often have a contrarian mindset. This means that they are willing to go against the prevailing market trends and invest in companies or sectors that are currently out of favor with the market. Rubenstein notes that this approach can be particularly effective in the long term, as investors, who are willing to go against the herd, can often identify undervalued companies with strong potential for growth. However, Rubenstein also emphasizes that investors should be careful not to confuse being a contrarian with being a contrarian for its own sake. Investors should be willing to go against the herd, but only if they have a sound investment thesis and a strong understanding of the underlying fundamentals of the company or sector they are investing in. Additionally, investors should be willing to change their mind if the underlying fundamentals of a company or sector change. Successful investors are adaptable and willing to adjust their investment strategies based on changing market conditions. Overall, having a contrarian mindset can be an effective tool for identifying undervalued investments and generating strong returns over the long term. However, investors should be careful to avoid taking unnecessary risks and should focus on investing in high-quality companies with strong fundamentals. Another key point from How to Invest, Masters on the Craft, is that investors should be patient and willing to wait for the right opportunities to arise. Rather than chasing after short-term market trends or trying to time the market, successful investors are willing to take a long-term approach and wait for the right opportunities to present themselves. Rubenstein notes that this patient approach can be particularly effective in identifying undervalued companies or sectors that may be out of favor with the market. By waiting for the right opportunities to arise, investors can position themselves to capitalize on emerging trends and undervalued investments. However, Rubenstein also emphasizes that investors should not mistake patience for inaction. Investors should be actively looking for opportunities and conducting ongoing research and analysis to identify potential investments. Additionally, investors should be willing to adjust their investment strategies as market conditions change. Finally, Rubenstein notes that patience is particularly important when it comes to realizing investment returns. Successful investors are willing to hold onto investments for the long term, allowing their investments to compound and grow over time. Overall, patience is an important tool for successful investing. By taking a long-term approach and waiting for the right opportunities to arise, investors can position themselves to capitalize on emerging trends and undervalued investments. However, investors should also be actively looking for opportunities and willing to adjust their investment strategies as market conditions change. Another key point from How to Invest, Masters on the Craft, is that having a margin of safety is important when making investment decisions. This means that investors should focus on investing in companies with a strong margin of safety or a significant gap between the market value of the company and its intrinsic value. 
Rubenstein notes that a margin of safety can provide an important cushion against unexpected market fluctuations or economic downturns. By investing in companies with a strong margin of safety, investors can minimize their risk exposure and build a more resilient investment portfolio. One way to determine a company's margin of safety is to conduct a thorough analysis of its intrinsic value. This involves examining the company's financial statements, management team, competitive landscape, and other factors to determine its true value. Additionally, investors should be willing to adjust their expectations based on market conditions. In some cases, a company's intrinsic value may be lower than its market value due to broader market trends or economic conditions. In these cases, investors should be willing to wait for the right opportunity to arise and adjust their investment strategies accordingly. Overall, having a margin of safety is an important principle of successful investing. By focusing on investing in companies with a strong margin of safety, investors can minimize their risk exposure and build a more resilient investment portfolio over the long term. Another key point from How to Invest, Masters on the Craft, is that learning from the wisdom and advice of successful investors can help improve your own investment strategies. Rubenstein notes that successful investors often have a wealth of knowledge and experience that can provide valuable insights into the market and investing. Rubenstein emphasizes that investors should seek out the advice and guidance of successful investors, both in terms of formal mentorship and informal networking. By learning from the successes and failures of others, investors can gain a broader understanding of the market and the underlying principles of successful investing. Additionally, Rubenstein notes that reading and studying the works of successful investors can also provide valuable insights into the market. Books, articles, and other materials written by successful investors can provide a window into their investment strategies and philosophy, and can help investors develop their own investment strategies. Finally, Rubenstein stresses that investors should be willing to adapt and evolve their investment strategies based on what they learn from successful investors. By incorporating new ideas and strategies into their own approach, investors can improve their performance and build a more successful investment portfolio over time. Overall, learning from successful investors is an important principle of successful investing. By seeking out the advice and guidance of successful investors, reading their works, and incorporating their ideas into your own investment strategies, you can build a more successful and resilient investment portfolio over the long term. Thank you for your interest in this book. Please leave your feedback on these thoughts in the comments below, or just put a like on this video. It will help me stay motivated and make more videos like this. In the description of this video, you may find links where you can purchase this book.